Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. All right, are you ready for the sex talk with our preteens? Hmm, ready or not, it's inevitable. So here to make it less challenging and awkward, we welcome back Christine D'Angelo to the Hi. show. I'm already giggling. Hey, Christine. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm giggling because, I mean, I'm not actually afraid to have the sex talk, but a lot of parents are. Why yes. is that? Um, a lot of times we come from a place where we didn't have the talk ourselves mm -hmm. and so when it comes time for us to give the talk it's scary yeah. we don't know where to start we don't know what to say <laughs> so you know when you're handling a really delicate situation mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you're armed and ready right no just like anything else though right mm -hmm. you want to be prepared yes this is and this isn't anything different, but I will say uh, my husband breaks out into a cold sweat. He oh. starts stuttering mm -hmm. anytime, but I don't know if that has to do with the fact that he has only girls, because we have three girls. And as for me, I mean, like you said, my mother mainly, and my dad too, we're kind of open about talking about what that is yeah. and making it very matter of fact and like, yeah. like science and biology or any other class like oh yeah this is that this is that this is that this is that and so I don't know how do you how do you think people should go about starting the conversation because I don't know if that's yeah. the way or not yeah well I want to specify what a preteen is that's for the ages 10 to 12 okay, okay. so yes I have those okay mm -hmm. um, and when you're about to give you know the talk it's not just a singular conversation there's going to be conversations <laughs> and that's important going yeah. into this knowing okay. that you you need to do some research on your own. Um, so let's start with my first tip. Okay. You want to open the line of communication with your preteen. Let them know that you have an open door policy when it comes to answering their questions. That's good. Yeah. That goes with that should go with any question. Yes. Though, right? Yes. Okay, so, so that's when you're, the foundation. Yeah, and, and it's important to remember that it's okay if you don't know the answer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, if you're the parent mm -hmm. and you and they're asking you about sex, what don't we know? Well, you uh, times are changing, Trey. <laughs> you never you know, know what that's true. What they're going to come home and ask you, you don't that's know so what true. they've been exposed to during the day. <laughs> right. So, when you're saying, you know what, I don't know the answer to that, but that's a really good question. I'm going to go do some research and I'll get back to you. Okay. But the key here is to actually do the research and get back to them. <laughs> don't use that as an excuse right, to, to, to get out of the conversation. Exactly. Okay, okay, good. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, so now we've laid the foundation that mm -hmm. hey, we're open to having the conversation yeah. with you. Okay, and then And then second tip, mm -hmm. before you have these talks with your preteen, take some time to reflect on your own values, attitudes and beliefs about sex and relationships. Okay. So VABs for short to help you remember those. Um, so when you're sitting down to reflect on this, think about what childhood messages you were taught. Mm -hmm. What was missing from your sex education and let that be a guide for you as you're creating this roadmap of these conversations that you're going to have. Okay, no that's good. That's good because we do need to take a beat when yes. we're having these conversations because you just don't know what's going to get thrown yeah. at you like you said. Exactly. Hmm, okay. Okay, I got that That's in my gonna mind That's going to help you now. be better prepared. Okay, um, and we need to be that. <laughs> because trust me, once the conversation starts, yes. there's more questions to follow. Exactly. Okay. Um, so third tip mm -hmm. is to um, have this conversation one-on-one -on -one with your preteen. Mm -hmm. Don't have this conversation in front of other family members or other siblings because they could create some embarrassment. Oh, um, they okay. could make fun of the situation. They could make fun of, of your preteen. And you really want to make sure that there's no guilt, shame, or embarrassment being brought into this really delicate time of development. Got you. No, yeah. that makes total sense. I didn't think about that. Yeah. I didn't think, okay, so I already shared with you that I have two preteens. Yeah. So you, you're saying sit one down and then the other one down. But what yes. if you give one some information that you didn't give the other one, they're gonna talk, aren't they? Yeah, they and are. that's okay, okay because you're giving them the right information, right, right? right? They're not hearing this and that on the playground and getting scared or sure. confused. or So as long as you're giving one the right information, it's okay for them to tell the other one, okay. right? And one quick question, when's yeah. a good time? Should you bring it up or should they bring it up? Either. 
Either or. Yeah. As long okay. as it's in a safe and comfortable environment, I say go for go it. Go for it. All right. Yeah. Woo. I think we're ready. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, we're going to have these tips and more information about Christine for you on our website at katu.com.